Yo, 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 it's our lifestyle, the podcast out here at Relaxing in the Northwest, The Awakening. You can see right back here, the banner hanging over the stage. Good people, this show is off the hook. If you're not able to make it to Salem, Oregon this year, you got to add this show to your list. Weather is awesome, really great people. Saw Frank from Custom Life last night, he's getting a little crazy, as was Brian from Grinder TV. All good people. Got Forbidden Fantasy right here, they're repping. A lot of vehicles around here. I already took photos of pretty much everything. I'm gonna go do this video real quick for IGTV and show you guys a few of the things here. So ODB, make sure you uh, check out the podcast if you haven't already. Subscribe, All any way you get a podcast, you can search R-O-U-R, Lifestyle. And it's mini truck and inspired, but we talk about a lot of stuff. So check this out. So I met this homie earlier, good dude. This thing, post of photos, it's an 86 space cab. He uh, got it from Craigslist. I won't tell you what he paid for it. It was an uh, awesome deal. Love going to shows and seeing stuff like this. Stuff that's a little different. So obviously for IGTV, I got a film in uh, portrait, not landscape. It's, it's, I guess, better. So that's why I'm kind of having to do it like this. But uh, again, uh, you're gonna see, I took a lot of photos. So you got forbidden right here. And we'll be posting them. You wanna follow the hashtag, click on one of the hashtags like relax it in the NW or the hashtag uh, the awakening 2019. You know, one of those, if you follow the hashtag, you'll see all the photos. Turn on post notifications for us. And uh, that way you'll get all the notifications. And uh, we got the cruise in this. If you guys watched Christina live yesterday, uh, Ice Cube came on and we were just killing it. Today was a good day. And it definitely was riding in this thing. First time I get to see this car. It's in Lowrider Magazine, one of the recent issues. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Love the trunk. We'll do a, 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 a nice walk around video right, later. So, basically, you have a lot of stuff here that goes up to that building. And then, as I told you guys yesterday, this all filled in over here, up to the stage. There's a lot of nice stuff here. So, please. Make sure you have your sticker in place on your vehicle. Again, William's going to be hitting switches later in this thing. On your this thing is crazy. So we'll do uh, more Once video of it. Met these good people here in Magical Minis. Uh, this this truck that I posted a little bit ago. Mazda is sick. And make sure it is accessible for them to get to. Thank you. Just perfectly lined up rows. All, most of the club guys are, are and ladies. They're all parked together. Though. Here's uh, the class act. Oh, we posted this. Met this guy. He's got a full, complete set of mini trucking magazine collection. And check this. I love this bug. It's got a nice vibe to it. Cool tag, old school. Now here's something. There's a couple things you don't see very often. Oh, this. Check this out. A Dodge. Is that a Dodge Stealth? Yeah. <laughs> see, so you see stuff a little bit different when you go to different parts, you know what I mean? Over here, uh, Severage repping hard. Now, I talked to the homie that built this, and I do remember seeing show coverage of it. I just... I've uh, never seen it in person. He did have the top off last night and they were cruising it. This thing needs a feature. Hit, hit. All time low magazine. Check them out. ATLmagazine.com. GarageGearClothing.com. Good people. So, King Tuck, you guys remember this? This, this was highly. Uh, throughout Tailgate Mag, including on the cover. First time I'm seeing it in person. Still rocking the tweed. Yeah. 
sitting pretty. We chill with these guys last time a little bit. Good people. But the camping aspect is on point. The weather's a little cooler here. At night, at least in the 50s, it's like AC is on. This thing is pretty cool, featured back in the day. The, this was on the, I think this was featured, he has it in the truck, Ryan Fringling house when he had his forerunner on the cover of when he truck him. It's cool, it's still got the street source. And this S10, there's a couple square bodies here like this, extended cab, toppers, I mean, some of these trucks, time capsules, they really look good. This, okay, the Holden, it turns out, I was a little skeptical. Somebody's like, yeah, you got all the parts. I was like, dude, you might have to build a whole truck. He basically, the truck came from down under. So, I know our friend Mark from NC Australia, he likes these trucks. Crew cab minis on the rise. How clean it is. Love the bed too. So we got a few more minutes. I'll walk over here. A lot of bikes here. Scooters, all different kinds of uh, eclectic bikes. There's even a severed guy has a, a Schwinn tandem we're gonna roll around on later. This guy's nuts, if you know him. He's uh, probably on America's Most Wanted. That guy is nuts. Oh yeah? All right, cool. So, a couple more minutes. This K5. Sick. And of course we posted this up earlier. This dude goes everywhere. Hey God. Chilling. Those Colorado custom wheels though. Windows coming out. Is it? Yeah. That's your it's yours, right? No. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I met the guy. But, but uh crack the window so you pull in. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But um yeah, there's 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 just tons of awesome rides here. So far, there's no problems. Everyone's chilling. Judges are going around. The cruising aspect is great. I mean, literally, uh, we'll go live later and do some of the cruising stuff. They even had Karen Moore. She's um, they put her to work. You see her right here. She's judging. She's in the zone. Over here at the. Someone mentioned this yesterday. This thing is pretty dope. The DJ is doing awesome. He's playing a lot of 80s, 90s, all kinds of Logan music. So, bottom line is, it's a great show. I think this is the third year, technically. And, uh, man, if you haven't ever came to the West Coast or it's been a minute or you've never been to this show, you definitely need to come out at it as a quick vacation. If you follow me on Facebook, I posted the photos, some of them, when I went to Astoria, to the Goonies uh, spots, I guess, filming locations, including the Oregon Film Museum, which is the little jailhouse, which was a real jail up until whatever year, where they filmed uh, the beginning of the Goonies. And then, uh, you know, that was cool. So again, that's, that's an aspect that I highly encourage people when you go to shows, you know, take an extra day if you can and do stuff because, uh, you know, you don't, you don't, usually sometimes make it to these uh, spots, you know, too often. I know I won't, uh, but I know I'll be back here next year because it's, it's this good. So uh, that's it. And if you're here, make sure you go, uh, make sure you go get a show shirt. You hear the DJ calling it out. They're right over by the stage because I know they're going to sell out. All right, y'all. Got you.